guys, it's Nayeli from Nay's Creations. I'm super excited to be doing this video for you guys today. And today I'm doing an Ipsy review. I have not seen any of the spoilers. I have not opened this. And I just received this one um, today in the mail. I just went and picked it up. So I'm super excited to open this up with you guys and check out what we got this month. And I do need to say... That last month, um, there was a whole big deal about my Ipsy bag last month. So I totally forgot to change my apartment number from where I used to live to this apartment, which is in like the same apartment complex. Um, but I forgot to change the number. So they forwarded or no they actually sent it back the post office sent my ipsy bag back and i did get one but it was like at the end of the month and i don't know i just didn't do one i have no idea okay but we have this one so this is for october 2017 and let's get to opening this Trying to get the little card. Ooh, the purse feels, the little bag feels nice, but I can't find the card in here. Oh, this is a beautiful color, you guys. Look at this. And it has like a little pattern to it. I want to say like a snake, snake um skin pattern. I don't know if you guys can actually, I don't think you can see that. Right there, right here. And it says Ipsy in the front and, oh, the zipper is a little bat. That says Ipsy, so this is a nice bag. I like, I like how it feels. I like the material and the zipper is pretty nice actually. So let's see, oh, here's the card. Okay, so the card says, in my defense, the moon was full and I left, and I was left unsupervised. Spellbound is the theme for this month, and this is the front of the card. Like it, like it because it's halloween -y. so. And my first thing in the... Okay, um, everything's falling today. Okay, the first thing that I see is new by by Pores Pressed Powder. And it says Airbrush Silk Pressed Anti-Aging Finishing Powder. And this is from IT Cosmetics. Hmm. Trying to open this up here. Oh, I literally thought my powder just fell out, but it's actually the little sponge that comes in it. So this is the sponge and this is the powder. Never mind. It has a little cardboard thing on there. I'm trying to take it out. There we go. Oh, it's a plastic thingy. Okay, I'm going to swatch it for you guys. That's what it looks like on my finger, but let's try to do this on my skin. And let's see how well this blends out into my skin because I don't want to look ashy or anything. Oh, but it looks really nice. Really nice. It's just, yeah, it was really blendable. 
oh sorry, it was really blendable and makes my skin look more, um, I don't want to say glowy, but that's sort of what it makes it look like. So next thing is in bubble wrap, let's see. And this is from Essen Essence or Essence Essence um, Satin Touch Blush, and this is a 0.17 ounce or five grams, and it is in Satin Love. This is. A beautiful color I could use this as an eyeshadow because I really don't wear blushes so I'm just gonna try this as an eyeshadow today and let me get a swatch of this that's what it looks like on my finger And that is what it looks like on my hand. It's a nice, um, like, rosy color. I like it. I do like it. And it was really smooth and buttery to put on. It, I mean, it just glided on. Okay, the next thing is... Hmm. What is this? It is from Tarte. And it is... It says Lifted Mascara. That's what it looks like. I like the packaging. It feels like silicone. Silicone-y. Sort of. <laughs> And the color is pretty nice. The the packaging, on uh, the color on the packaging. This is like a brownish color. It's not black. Let's see if it says the color in here. Where is the color? Okay, it doesn't say, I don't see the color, but it does seem like it is like a dark, like a dark brownish color. Yeah, definitely a dark brown. Never use a dark uh, dark brown mascara before. Let me get a little wipe out of here. I always have my little wipe, um, my little box of, cause of makeup wipes, makeup remover wipes. Wipe that off. There we go. Next in the bag is this uh, peach hand cream from Tony Moly. And this is what it looks like. There we go. Open it up there. And put some on my hand. Oh, off. Oh, wow, wow. This is like, oh, this smells like peaches, like just peaches. As soon as you put it on your, on your hand, it smells like peaches. I absolutely love this hand cream. This is going right in my purse. Love it. It is like, Pure peaches. 
nothing else but peaches. And the last thing in my bag is black mask. Oh, it is a black mask, like it says. I'll put this on my hand. I know it's probably for your face, but I'm just going to put this on my hand to, to see how it works. There we go. And it says on here, um, well, right now it just says the ingredients. So let me check it out right here. Okay, it says to leave it on from 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna make it dry faster um so for right now let's just try out things that we got let me get some brushes and I will be right back to test everything out okay so first off I'm gonna go ahead and try this um essential satin touch blush in the color satin love but like I said, I don't use blushes, so I'm going to go ahead and use this as an eyeshadow and make a little look. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my blending brushes that I got from Ipsy. This one is the Glamour Dolls. It just says Glamour Dolls on here. But it is a blending brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and tip off the excess. And I'm going to go ahead and start in my crease. Just wind washer motions. And not really hard, I mean just um, a little bit of control. Just blend it out with washer motion and circular motion. And I'm going to go ahead and build it up, build the color up. This is a nice color. I like it. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it all the way down to my lid. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it is a beautiful, beautiful color. And let's build it up a little bit more.
Oh, I love this color as as an eyeshadow. It's beautiful. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take a bigger blending brush from also it is from one of my Ipsy bags and this one is Elizabeth Mott blending brush. This one, as you can see, is bigger than this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one and blend it out. And don't go so hard on your skin, on your eye skin. Just be gentle. Okay, now I'm going to start on the other eye. Tap off the excess. I think this um, brush that I got from one of my Ipsy bags is the is such a beautiful brush with the rose gold. Sorry, there's people out there. <laughs> And just the designs that it has on there with the rose gold also. Very beautiful. I love this brush. It's almost drying. Almost, almost. I know it's a very light color because it is a blush color, but you can see the difference. There we go. Gonna take one more time my Elizabeth Mott blending brush and and I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend this a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some of this Tarte Lifted Mascara on.
I mean, it's not, I don't hate it. It's not my favorite, but it does the job. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm getting my Lexi 660 Precision Foundation Brush that I also got in this bag. This brush is beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and, because it says you can apply this powder um, over your makeup or without makeup at all. So I'm going to go ahead. And try this out. Tap the excess off. Oh, wait. And I'm only going to do half of my face so you guys can see the difference. And I dropped it, so. There we go. Get a little bit more and tap the excess off. And this is only half of my face that has it, so. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it does make your skin a little bit, like, um, smoother looking than... I'm dropping everything today, so there we go. And I already tried out our little peach hand cream, and I am just waiting for this to dry, and it looks already dry. Let's peel it off. And it does pull a little bit of your hairs. Mm. Does it look different or does it feel different? Yes, it feels softer than the, like if you touch where I had it and then you touch over here or over here, it does feel softer where this was. So, I'm actually really happy with everything that I got in this bag. I mean, like I said, I don't wear blushes, but I will try it out for you guys as a blush. If I can open it. I just don't like it on my cheeks. 
on the apples on my cheeks. I don't know. I've never liked to blush. I mean, whenever I buy blush, it's because I like the color for an eyeshadow or something. But I'm actually really happy of everything that I got this month. I love the blush for an eyeshadow. I like the mascara. I mean, it's not bad. I don't hate it. Um, it works like for to have it in my bag for a day that I don't do my makeup or something. And um, the hand lotion was one of my favorite things. Absolutely love the smell. I could just eat this up. That's how some, how uh, good it smells. I did like this because it makes your face smoother. It do, it really does. You can feel the difference. And well, this. It was a good thing that I got it because I've always wanted to try it and I'm pretty happy that I got this. And the bag was my favorite thing of all in here. I just really thought this bag is just beautiful for me to just throw it in my purse and use it as my little emergency makeup bag. Because I always have an emergency makeup bag um, in my purse. If you guys would like to see what I have in my emergency makeup bag, please comment down below and like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't and click the little bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Bye!